Upton. He joins us now in the studio. I apologize. I think I mispronounced your name there. Uh, but let's get to the issue at hand, and that really is these, these allegations against your government. Did the Syrian government supply these Scud missiles to Hezbollah? Uh, the Syrian government has been very, very clear in unequivocally denying these uh, false uh, reports, which are uh, b basically um, uh, campaign, a disinformation campaign by Israel. Uh, but what's more important is that what are these reports aiming at doing? I think what they're trying to do here is, first of all, create a parallel reality where everybody is distracted uh, by uh, these uh, reports, these alleged r ridiculous reports, while diverting attention to what is happening on the ground right now, what Israel is actually doing on the ground in Palestine, kicking out, expelling 70,000 Palestinians out of their homes, destroying homes, expanding settlements. But it also uh, uh, diverts attention from how Israel is avoiding uh, and evading any responsibility towards coming back to the uh, uh, the real issue at hand here, and that is peace in the region. This is the real issue, Israeli occupation of Arab territory. This is the issue in our region. This is what raises level, levels of tension, and this is really what uh, 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 br br brings all of this about. If Israel is, in fact, trying to divert attention, as you say, what might be its motivations for doing so? Is it to, to somehow influence U.S. foreign policy? What, what, what would be the motivation for that? Well, I think w uh, what I just mentioned are, are a, couple of the, uh, a couple of things, but it goes even beyond. Uh, Israel has a history of, of creating these diversions, uh, these charades, political and media charades. And uh, unfortunately, a lot of times what this is a lead up to uh, is an Israeli offensive in our region on, on a certain party. We don't know who it could be, but this very well could be okay, the, but, the, but, the intention. But what about Hezbollah? Well, what about Hezbollah? Hezbollah is uh, a reaction to uh, an occupation. What Syria's message is, and I think it gets lost in, in, in what uh, th this, th this current uh, discussion is, Syria's, Syria's message is one of peace. What Syria is calling for is a comprehensive and just peace in the region, where, is, where Israel withdraws from all the occupied territories uh, that the UN and the entire international community says these are illegally occupied. In return, Syria, along with all Arab countries as seen in the Arab Peace Initiative, have promised a normalization of, of relations. So it's land for peace. And this, this is our message. Once we address the root cause, the root cause is occupation. Once th there is no more occupation, there will be no more need for resistance. All right, we're going to have to leave it there. We are out of time. We do hope you can come back and we can discuss Absolutely. this further. Thank, Thank you. you. For all right, we're going to take a short break. Still to come in Al Jazeera, paying homage to China's earthquake victims, but many of the first rescuers.